Kenya's National Drought Management Authority says nearly 4.5 million Kenyans need aid as a fifth failed rainy season in a row marks the worst drought in the Horn of Africa in nearly half a century. In the village of Kule in northeast Kenya's Wajer County, 11-year-old Nadir Mohammed and two of his seven siblings were pulled out of school in August to take care of the family's livestock. Their mother, Hindia Abdi, says they were forced to move to greener pastures or else the animals will have died and they will have starved. I would have liked the children to remain in school, but we needed their help to survive. In the village of Karu, 17-year-old Sadiq Dakani arrives at one of the few working boreholes in the area. He trekked for two hours under the scorching sun to fetch the much-needed water. I left school when the drought struck. My father moved with his cattle to Somalia, leaving my mother and me behind. The UN Children's Fund in an October report says more than 400,000 Kenyan students are affected by the drought and estimates 66,000 have already dropped out of school nationwide. But the situation for children's education could be much worse. Sources tell VOA official estimates not yet released show in just three counties in northeastern Kenya, 100,000 children have dropped out of school. Local activists say this will have a negative impact in the future. If this trend continues, the rate at which people are dropping out of schools, then we risk witnessing the largest dropout rate of people from schools. The entire lives of an entire generation is at risk. And you know what that will mean? Producing a generation that does not have quality education. And then there will be a burden, you know, drug abuse, insecurity, terror networks, radicalization, and the whole nation is at risk. To lessen the impact of the drought, government and aid groups have been sinking more boreholes and bringing emergency food to herders and their livestock. But local authorities say the need is too great and the efforts over the years to increase school attendance among nomadic herder communities are taking a big hit. Uh, the gains that have been made in the past are being reversed uh, by the current uh, severe Lanina district drought. Officials and activists worry if rain does not come soon, more harder families will take their children out of school and it could take months or even years to get them back in the classroom. Ahmed Hussein for VON News, Wajia, Kenya.